The purpose of this video is to show you how you can draw a scatter graph using Excel. Now this is the data about age and average number of average hours of sleep. Okay, so you have got age. Now this is sorted from 11 to 30. You got 25 people. So 20 people. Okay, and uh, you got information about the age and on an average how many hours of sleep they get. Uh, so this is age versus average hours of sleep. So we want to find whether there's a relationship between age and average hours of sleep. So you may wonder, well, uh, you may say, well, as you get older, you sleep less. That's maybe your general knowledge. So we have to check that statistically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Excel. So what you do is highlight this, hold data, go to insert and scatter graph and if you click on this here is your graph okay the excel directly draws it for you and then you can remove this and then you can change the axis it's only up to 30 so you can click on format axis change it up to 30. close and here the maximum is yeah so this is fine so here yeah, if you want to change it, so you can label it like this. Uh, scatter graph graph of age versus uh, versus hopefully is right uh, average number of hours. So this is a title. You can label the axis like this. Click on the axis, right click. For uh, no, you have to go to layout and go to axis title, uh, horizontal below. So, yeah, this is age in years. This is, and then you can also label vertical, uh, vertical, and yeah, say. This is uh, average uh, hours of sleep. Okay, so this is the scatter graph. Okay, and I already done this. So let me show you. So I pasted this on Word. Okay, so this is the scatter graph. So this is average hours of sleep, age in years, and this is the scatter graph. Now, yeah, Excel also tells you, suppose if you over your cursor to the point it will tell you 11 comma 9.5 so this is the data of a person who was aged 11 who slept for 9.5 hours so this is a person who is aged 30 and sleeps 6 hours so this is 36.5 this is 37 and so on so if you look at this scatter graph what can you see this is uh, this has got a negative slope. This is uh, a clustering or grouping or sloping downwards. So now, if you want to draw, draw a line of best fit, if you click on that, if you click on the points, and you can also, Excel does add the trend line. So it's also called the line of best fit, add trend line, and then it can also, it's a linear line, okay, and it can also give you the equation of the line. So I don't want the equation. So this is a line, okay? So this line is a line. It's a it's a line which passes through the uh, through the middle of the points, almost equal number of points above and below. So this line is sloping downwards. So here we can see there is a moderate negative relationship. So let me type in here. So what can you see here? So let me use. So this is the same graph. So write two sentences describing the relationship between age and hours of sleep, average hours of sleep. So yeah, one thing that you can see is this point. This is, you can call this an outlier. He, this person doesn't fit in with most of the data. So let's look at that person. That This person, if you hover, that's an age a person age 23 sleeping 11 hours okay 
So this person is age 23 and 11 hours. So this is 23 comma 11. You can say this is an outlier. The line of best fit looks like this, somewhat like this. Okay, and so here you can see this is uh, moderately negatively correlated. Moderately. It's not, if it's strong, you can have strong, moderate, weak, uh, because the points are not very close to each other, and that's why we say moderately, negatively correlated. Negatively. What does that mean? Negatively correlated. That means age, when you're relating age, correlated. This means, basically, that as you get older, the number of hours you're going to sleep is going to go less. So it's not absolute. So, but as you go get older, you can say on an average, you will sleep less. Okay, so this is what it means. There's a moderate negative relationship that as you get older, you sleep less. Okay, and you can also talk about an outlier. And if the points were very close to each other, all the points will be uh, near the line. So can you see this point is away from the line and this point is also away from the line. But most, if you look at these points, they're very close to the lines. So here from this you can say that there is a close uh, moderate negative relationship between age and average number of sleep.